Hey, this is King of Stuff 8 and 1 here, and I'm going to be shooting a quick video which would give um, you, Siri, whether you're on older versions like iPad 2, iPhone 4, iPod Touch 4th generation, etc. So iOS 6 doesn't come with Siri for these devices because Apple decided to be an asshole. So this is how you're going to get it. So first thing you're going to need a jailbreak, your iOS 5 or 6 device. This works with either, and because you're going to need Cydia. And if you don't know, just search a tutorial. I have a tutorial on how to jailbreak iOS 5. I don't think my iOS 6 one is up yet, but I'll let you know. So, basically, when you've got Cydia up, you're going to need to add a number of sources. So, the first source you're going to need to add is this one, ihackstore.com slash repo. And the next one you're going to need to add is wordjelly.com slash repo. Now, once you've added them, well, if you don't know how to add them, you go to edit, and then you go to add, and then you type it in here, click add source, it'll say something about illegal stuff, just click add in anyway, and um, yeah, so basically once you've done that, go to iHack store, and scroll down to the S's, and now it's going to have Siri for all these different iOS's, all these different hardwares, basically every five point something six point something version you've got something here so find your one and download it if it isn't your one and you mess up maybe you download the iPad version when you're on an iPhone it will tell you so don't worry and once you download it, it will automatically download things like um, Siri DR, C Siri DR depends all these stuff as you can see this text here but that doesn't really matter uh, as such so basically, after that whole thing, which will take a long time, about maybe half an hour, because it's a big download, uh, when you press and hold the button, it will come up with Siri, but it doesn't work. It doesn't work because because this is, is an official Apple server thing, it's not going to connect with the Apple servers to come up with Siri's answer. So first things first once you download it if you go to settings and you go to general and then you'll see Siri here so first you need to turn it on it's there's a glitch that when you turn it on it will turn on and then when you go back and then you click it again it will say off but it's actually on so don't worry about that so basically once you've got Siri and Siri that doesn't work you'll get an app called Siri DR which I'm going to try and find there it is Siri DR and basically it finds a whole lot of servers for Siri. So if I turn this the right way around. So what you need to do is, I've tried all of these. A lot of them are unreliable in different languages and so on. You've got to go to Google server and click Word Jellies. Now the, the repo that we used before would come in handy now. So if you click it, it will say, you've installed Word Jellies, blah, 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 and it will say Respring. So click Respring. I've already done all this, so I don't need to. Then you're going to go back into Cydia. I'm going to go back into Cydia and go back to the Word Jelly repo and it's going to have something in there that you're going to need to download. And this is so that uh, Siri can communicate with a server which knows what it's doing. So Word Jelly. And this is the most advanced one. So here it is. The Word Jelly, the iOS 6 Word Jelly control panel. And this works for iOS 5 as well, so don't worry if you're on that. So once you tap it, there's iOS 6, modify, install, and once you install it, it will ask you to install a certificate, which you're going to install, and once that's done, you're going to have full Siri access. Okay, so basically my camera just ran out of battery, but I've got a new battery, and so, as I was saying, um, you got to install the certificate, and basically it will come up with, on your settings bar, something like this, which has word jelly. So make sure your Siri DR settings say something like this, siri.wordjelly.com and make sure on your word jelly thingy you click install the certificate okay and once you install it, do everything, so forth your thing should work now even though it works, you can do things like hello, tell me a joke, that sort of stuff that will work but um, cooler stuff like using Wolfram Alpha which will do mathematical calculations and advanced weather which does a whole lot more would it, it doesn't work so basically you need to go here and click don't have one get one now, don't have one get one now 
and basically when you click one of these things it will go to Safari and it will go to a registering screen where you can sign up for an API so I mean we're kind of being a dick to the people who set up the API we're kind of exploiting them but it doesn't matter so uh, wasn't like this yesterday but anyway if you just do a quick Google search you'll find that if you you need a Wolfram Alpha API key and when you get those things like one plus one and so forth will work so I'll post a, a little pop-up thingy at this moment to show you where you can actually sign up for a free API key and you're gonna paste that key that you get from from these two sites you're gonna paste it in here and it'll work so yeah so after that, I'll, I'll just test it out right now. Uh, I'm gonna say what is two times two, and it will take information from Wolfram Alpha from my API. So I'll try it out now. What's two times two? This might answer your question. So there it is, two times two, result four, blah blah blah. So this is from the Wolfram Alpha. So basically. Um, Word Jelly has done a great job uh, just getting the information from Wolfram Alpha. And apparently, I haven't tried this out yet, but Word Jelly's servers also recognize Facebook, Twitter, um, from your address book, contacts, uh, setting alarms. So I think it's, it's, it's a really great thing. So I hope you've learned something. I've seen a lot of tutorials that don't really explain properly how to do things and often they lead to servers that are always down or not in English or something like that so this is the full English way to get Siri up and working on iOS 6 and above iOS 5 I'm not sure but I think it will still work and um, if, it, if iOS 5 doesn't work try a different server I think um, I'll just check here so this is for iOS 5 if if you are on iOS 6 and this has worked, just leave right now. I mean, your job is done. My job is done. So, if you go on Siri DR, and there's a good server for iOS 5s here, SiriPort.ru. So, get that one. And uh, follow the instructions, install some certificate. That's what you're going to need to do if you're on iOS 5. So, for iOS 5 users and iOS 6 if you're still hanging around, uh, I hope you've learned something from this, and please rate and subscribe this video, and enjoy.